Hi, and welcome to another training guide on Google Tag Manager. In this session, we're going to use Google Tag Manager to track those people who click on external links or outbound links from your website. I recommend that you watch the training guide right through to the end, then come back, play it again, and pause it as you complete the exercise. So let's begin. Now, we're going to use one of our own websites, ubiz.com, and the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is look at variables. Now, we're actually going to work in reverse here, and you will see why as uh, we progress. So click on variables, the left-hand side, then the configure button. When the uh, option appears on the right-hand side, we want to enable click URL because we need that to track which links have been clicked. So now that I've selected that, we can see that click URL is now here. Next, we're going to look at triggers. So we want to create a new trigger. Let's call it outbound link trigger. Now, when we've clicked on the trigger configuration, we want to make it trigger when people click on links. So, some of the settings that you want to look at, I always tick wait for tags. And we also want to check validation. Now, why do we want to check validation? We want to make sure that it's a page that someone is on on your website when they click on a potential outbound link. So we pick URL, that is your page URL. And we're going to say that it contains, and then we'll put the forward slash. So that basically means that any web page on your web website, because all web page will have at least HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Now we want this to work on just some links. Now, what are those links? Now, this is where, when I asked you to set up click URL previously. Now, the click URL, we want to pick so that it does not contain. And in this case, I'm going to put ubiz.com. Now, why have I just done that? This trigger is for when we click on a link on your website. Now, to determine that that is an external or outbound link, it shouldn't be within your own website. So it may be that I have a link on my website that references the BBC. So that would be the bbc.co.uk. If I clicked on that link, that hyperlink, the trigger will check the click URL that I've clicked, but it does not contain ubiz.com, i.e. it is my own website. And in this example, it will be the BBC website. So it will trigger this action. So we'll just save that. And that is now a new trigger set. Now, going in reverse again, I'm now going to set up a tag. So I'm going to click a new tag. And we will call this outbound. So the tag configuration, as I said right at the start, we're going to push this into Google Analytics. So we'll select Google Analytics. Now I want to set that up as a Google Analytic event. So that's where I'm going to select, select event. Category. This is so that when you look at your events within Google Analytics, you can see the data. So we'll call this out link. The action is that someone clicked on it. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is where I'm going to show you a wee secret. What we want to do is reference the page, or, or sorry, to understand which page on your website someone clicked the link. So I've chosen the option there. It has put in the variable page path. 
just so that we can clear it. I'll put in a dash and then a, an arrow. And then I want to also then select the click URL. So in Google Analytics, it will actually tell us a page on your website that someone is on and then the link that they clicked off to that external website. We can leave value for uh, blank. Here, I want to tell it to push to my Google Analytics settings. In a previous video, I've shown you how to set up Google Analytics settings, so I recommend that you watch that. There's no need for anything to change in the advanced settings. Now, how do we want this to trigger? Well, we've just set up triggering in the previous section. So now I select outline link trigger. That is it. We'll save that. So now we have a tag which will be pushed into Google Analytics and that tag will contain an event, a category of outbound links, the action will be click and then it will actually tell us the page and the link that was clicked within it. It will only be triggered when it's not a link to your own website, i.e. an external website, BBC as I explained. Now what I will do is I will submit that. I will add a short description. publish that and there that is published live straight to our website and that was how easy it was to set up a tag for tracking your outbound links so I hope you enjoyed that as I said at the start go back replay the video and pause it at the various steps as you do this for your own website so thank you very much for watching right to the end. Keep an eye out for our other videos. Thank you.